guys! Today is one of my favorite videos to film and it's my June favorites. I'm so excited because this is one of the first videos I filmed and I just think it's so much fun to go around and figure out everything that I've been loving this month. So I have a little bit of makeup, some hair, some skin, um, and then some like life stuff. So I'm just going to jump right in because there is a ton. So I'm going to start with the makeup because I think that that is what most of you are wanting to see more and then we'll do the more lifestyle type stuff at the end. So the first thing that I have been loving this month is the CoverGirl Outlast Medium, wow, 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 the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation and this is in the shade Medium Beige and first of all it has a pump which we all know is amazing and I recently hauled this and I had heard that a lot of people had some mixed reviews on this and some people didn't like it because if you look at it in the bottle it has kind of like gold sparkles in it but they're so fine that when you put it on your face you can barely see it and a lot of times um, more luminous foundations don't work very well for oily skin because they just increase that like glow that you get when you're oily and that like oily looking thing so it's just kind of double but because this one is more luminous due to that like glitter it actually works really well it does get a little bit oily but it's nothing that like blotting and powder can't do and i also found that it works really well mixed with my l'oreal infallible foundation um just to keep myself a little bit more matty but also have the luminous so i really like it um, I've been wearing it a lot, like since I got it, I've been wearing it like every day. I took it to St. Louis with me when I went there for convention, and I just really liked it. It's a really good match. It makes my skin look perfect. It is um, pretty full coverage. I don't remember what it's marketed as, but it is like medium to full coverage. You can't really see any imperfections, and it does give me like that kind of dewy glow that I want. So, I like it. So, because it's summer, I'm really into more of like a glowy look. I really want to look more highlighted, dewy, shiny. And I've said in previous videos, I do like glitter. I like to look shiny. Not shiny. I like to look glittery. So, this is the bronzer that I have been using. Stay close. This is the bronzer that I have been using the most lately. It is a Physicians Formula Glow Boosting 2-in-1 Bronzer and Highlighter. Um, this is in medium to dark, so it is pretty dark, but if you use a light hand, it just works perfectly. I have it on my cheeks today, and it just adds like a really nice bronze glow, and because there is that gold in it, when the light hits your face, it does have that like kind of highlighted effect. And for bronzing my neck and stuff, I use a different bronzer, but I use this like on my cheeks and around my forehead just to like bronze it, but also add that glow. And I really like it. That is a swatch. It's not that dark, but it does give you like a really nice kind of gold shimmering glow. So I like it. And then on top of that, I wear my leopard, pink leopard, Too Faced blush, bronzer, highlighter. And I talked about this in the video when I hauled it and I was so excited. I've been waiting to get this for so freaking long because I was going back and forth about like whether or not it would be worth it. I had heard some bad reviews, bad reviews, but then I also heard Kathleen Lights, who I believe everything she says, talking about how amazing it is and how much she likes it. And I kind of like more golden highlighting because I think personally gold looks better on me than like silver. No, that's not true. I just really like gold highlighting and this, despite having the pink in it, the highlight, actual highlight comes out like a rose gold almost and it's just, I doubt you can see it, but it's gorgeous. I have it on my face today and it just like, it's amazing. I love it. I have been wearing it almost every day. Like I'm tempted to put it over my entire face, but I haven't because I don't want to waste it. It's just amazing. I think it's so pretty and you don't really get that much pink. I definitely wouldn't use it as a blush because you're not, it's more gold than pink. I mean, there's a hint, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. And it's like exactly what I want. I have been loving two different things. One is the combination that I have on my lips right now. And it is starting with the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. And I love these lipsticks because they are so smooth. 
they're not crazy pigmented they're a little bit sheer but you can definitely build it up and they're so moisturizing on the lips they feel amazing and i like the kind of like wet look that they have it's right here um and i just i really like the wet kind of look that they have they leave your lips very glossy very healthy looking and i'm kind of not into matte lips right now because my lips aren't they just they see, they feel so cracked on my lips when i put matte lipsticks on so the color is so great and it looks really good on my lips it kind of like enhances my natural lip color i feel and then on top of this i have this la colors which is like the dollar tree brand of la girl in just kiss and it's just this like kind of peachy gloss it doesn't have too much color but when you put it on top of a lip gloss it kind of like adds just a hint of peach and kind of peach tone i mean it's gonna be hard to say on my hand because my hand is somewhat peach to begin with but it just kind of adds like a peach tone to any lip gloss you put it over and i've just been really loving this combination because it is so glossy and if you pile this on it can be like a really good pink and then put this on it just adds that like glow so i'm loving that and then i've also been loving this pillow pump by uh, Soap and Glory. This is the Pillow Pump lip gloss and it's just like a lip pumping lip gloss. I got this at Sephora when they were like clearing out the Soap and Glory products because they stopped carrying it. And it just, it definitely makes my lips look plump. It's a gorgeous color um, by itself or on top of lipstick. And it just has that like nice tingly feeling. It smells like cupcakes. And it definitely makes my lips plump even if I put it on on top of a lipstick. Uh, I just love it. So it's right here. And like I said, it has like a nice little tint. It smells amazing. And it definitely pumps my lips. So like what else, what else could I want? For eyelashes, I have been loving, 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 loving the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. There are multiple things that I like about this. First of all, um, it, I mean it's packaged well. I have like three of these mini ones because I've gotten them in just about everything. The second thing I like is the wand. The reason that oh that got on me. The reason that I like this so much is the brush is huge, which makes it super super easy to apply. And I also like the tip is very like functional. So you can use the tip of the brush for like those outer lashes or inner lashes that are really hard to reach. It's a natural bristle brush. Um, it gets every lash perfectly. It gives you the most full, huge, gorgeous, almost false looking lashes and I absolutely love it and this is in black I guess and I have like three of them so the next thing that I've been loving as far as makeup is the Smashbox primer water and there are two reasons that I use this one is I always put it on before I put on my makeup just to kind of like moisturize my skin and help the foundation and everything go on really smoothly and it works really well I think like I know there's part of me that's like is it really working or do I just think it works but then I definitely notice when I don't use it. The other thing that I love using it for is as like a makeup refresher. So I love spraying it on when I feel like my makeup is getting really dry or really oily or just like not looking good. Throughout the day, if it gets cakey, I love spraying this on. It cools you down, especially when it's really, really hot out and your face is like cake. It's perfect for that. So I've been loving this. Again, I took this to St. Louis and we were like waking up early in the morning and going to like convention stuff all day. And then I would come home for like 15 minutes and change to go out. So in that 15 minutes when I didn't have time to redo my makeup, I would just spray this on after like sweating all day and it would be great. Skincare that I've been loving this month, I have three things. Let's start with the actual face. So I recently got the Origins Ginseng Under Eye Cream and I have been using this every night, eh, most nights. And some mornings depending on how bad my under eye circles are and i have definitely seen a difference like to the point where i hardly have under eye circles anymore like if i didn't want to put concealer under my eyes i wouldn't have to they look amazing so much darkness is gone i have been using this for like probably two months now and i can definitely tell a difference so i'm loving it especially in the summer when i don't really want to wear a lot of makeup i like that i don't have to put concealer under my eyes if i don't want to because it just cuts down on the time getting ready it cuts down on like my insecurity about that and stuff so i'm really really excited with this i want to say it was kind of expensive like maybe 30 or 40 dollars but like i have been like i said i've been using it for months and there's a ton left and i put it on every night so 
this is amazing. If any of you are having trouble with dark circles or like puffy, dark under eyes, this is amazing. Next, for the face, I very recently got, well, not very recently, probably at the beginning of the month, I got the Pixi Glow Tonic. I had been, I would heard Tati from Glam Life Guru talk about it and she just said that it changed her skin and then I heard a couple other people talk about it and I was like, okay, Jenny, you just have to bite the bullet and get it. Um, it was really hard for me because I don't like spending that much money on things. Like, I don't like, I'll buy a lot of things, but I buy a lot of cheap things and it's hard for me to like splurge on like high and expensive things, especially because this is a drugstore brand. You can get this at Target. So it was hard for me to kind of like bite the bullet and get this, but I'm so, so glad I did. I again have been using this every night since I got it, every single night. I put it on a cotton pad, wipe it all over my face, fell, wipe it all over my face, down my neck and onto my chest, and it has definitely made a difference. My skin is clearer than it has been in the last year. It's brighter. Um, Oh, it's just it's amazing. I am so glad I got it, but like the problem is that it goes fast So again, I've only had it for a month and it's down to here um, And I've been using it as sparingly as possible. So it's not gonna last quite as long as I want But it was definitely worth the amount that I paid for it I mean you're supposed to use it morning and night, but I've only used it at night because I'm scared I'm gonna use it too fast, but this is amazing. I have definitely seen a difference. My skin has never ever looked this good and this is the only thing I changed. And then last for skincare is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Life. This is amazing. It goes on super easy, it dries super quick, and it just makes your legs look literally like you're wearing stockings on. Like when I used to work at Hooters and we wore those like thick skin tone stockings that like make your legs look perfect, this is what that is. And like sometimes I wish that I had like those stockings again because they did just make your legs look wonderful this does that um this is in tan glow so this is like the darker color because i am pretty tan especially in the summer i originally got it to wear for my graduation and i have been wearing it like constantly since then i only have one product for hair and that is the garnier fruit teas deconstructed texture teas this is amazing um i find that because my hair is so long it gets really weighed down at the roots and um, it doesn't get oily, but it just gets like stuck to my head. So like my hair is very well trained. It can go like four, almost five days without getting oily or super oily, but it gets flat. So I have found that this is just amazing for like adding some volume back into my hair. Like, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. It's like not stuck to my head anymore. And it's not even dry yet. I sprayed kind of a lot. It just adds a lot of like texture to the top of my head. Or if I want to put my hair in a braid and I want it to be really full, I spray some of this in, pull the braid apart, and it stays like that. I love, love, love this. Again, Tati talked about it, and Tati has the most beautiful hair ever. So I bought it, and I really like it. That is all for cos. <sighs> <laughs> so that is all of the cosmetic favorites that I have and now I'm going to get into some of the more lifestyle favorites and I'm going to start with the book that I have been loving this month and that is this book. This is The House of Hades and it is the fourth book in the third series by Rick Riordan and most of you have probably heard of Percy Jackson Lightning Thief or the Percy Jackson series. He wrote the Percy Jackson series. So Percy Jackson is based on like Greek gods and they have like half mortal children so they're called demigods and they have to like fight god battles on earth, whatever. I really like young adult books. I kind of, I really like more mystical young adult books. And then this series, they realize that there is a whole other set of gods that the Roman gods, that belong to like the Roman gods or the Roman side of the gods and it becomes interesting because the Roman gods and the Greek gods are kind of the same gods. Like if you, I know anything about Greek gods or Roman gods, you know that like it's almost the same exact gods. They just have different names and slightly different temperaments and ideals. So this is book is about what happens when like the two sides come together. They tend to clash, etc. And then there's also a series based on the Egyptian gods, and that is the Cain Chronicles. And I mean. You can see this list 
this is a list of books in all of his different series. So there's a ton. Like I said, I read all of the Percy Jackson series and there were five of those. And then this is the fourth in the Heroes of Olympus and so far there are five of those as well. And then there's also three books in the Kane Chronicles and I think I've only read one of them. So if you guys are interested in young adult kind of mystical type books, if you ever learned about the Greek gods when you were younger, I love these books. They're really easy reads. They're really good. They're really quick. And I like them. Okay, and then the last thing that I have been loving this month as far as lifestyle is a few songs. So I'm just going to play little tidbits for you. The first one is by Hilary Duff. And I know her, her CD, just her album just came out very recently, but I just love her. Like, I've always loved Hilary Duff. I watched Lizzie McGuire. Like, I love, I had, I think, her, all of her CDs back when she, like, first started making music. I love her. So this is the song Stay In Love, and it's off her new album, Breathe In, Breathe Out. I just love it. I think it's so catchy and fun and just like hearing Hilary Duff's voice brings me back. It just makes me so happy. The next song that I have been loving this month is by Casey Musgrave and it is Biscuits. Oh, Casey Musgrave is like the most real country singer ever and then she puts out songs like this and I'm like, girl, you know how to live life. You know, it's like real, like mind your own business, let everybody else do what they're going to do and you just do what you have to do to live your life. And I just, I just like it. It's just so real. Um, Tyrese's song, Shame. Oh my God. I'm an old school Tyrese fan. Like I love everything he's ever done. This is good. This is like old school Tyrese. favorites these are all the things that I have been absolutely loving in June that I can't get enough of and I hope that you guys found something new or just like the things that I told you maybe you saw something that you already love let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing or things have been this month I love hearing all the stuff that you guys love because it gives me new ideas for things to get subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos I would appreciate it so 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 much and I'll talk to you guys next time.